was a giant. I'm hunting in Oklahoma. I got a late setup. I'm not even sure what day it is. Uh, I'm trying to find my phone. season I had some does and uh, I hunted out here one, a couple times and I actually saw a couple small bucks so I shot a button buck out of here first week of the season so I've got no idea what to expect went down I was gonna I drew back I was gonna shoot that I was gonna shoot the lead deer that lead doe and then she quickly turned um, a quarter two pretty hard so then I was trying to find the next biggest doe I was just waiting for that uh, that tiny one to move out of the way and then finally it did because I didn't want I didn't want to mess it up so uh, finally, that that little deer moved out of the way from the bigger one. And dude, dude, uh, that was a good shot. About time I had a good shot. So I drew back. I know I drew back early, but I don't know if you can see this, but we're in December, and. There's just really no cover here. So I drew back as soon as I could when they weren't looking. I held it for a while, but 
if I didn't draw back when I did, I would have got busted with all those does. I know I would have. So. Uh, sometimes you got to do what you got to do when it comes to drawing back. I'm, I'm, I'm not a master at it, a maestro at it by any means, but um, I'd rather draw back and hold it than to draw back too late. If you look at that buck I shot this year, I had an encounter with him a couple weeks before I shot him. And I was watching him for like four or five minutes and he was quartering two, he wasn't far enough out in front of me. And so finally he went broadside and you know, I just had my bow on my lap because I figured shoot you know he's been here for four or five minutes eventually he's gonna go broadside he's gonna make his way closer to me he's gonna go broadside i'm gonna have a chip shot and uh he turned broadside and i started to raise my bow up and i don't know if if there was an outline if there's a shadow of me that spooked him or whatever but as soon as i started to slowly raise my bow up he started to turn like back to go back where he came from and so then I I pulled Bumbo up as fast as I could but by then it was too late so I learned from that I drew back away early on him I was I was holding it full draw before I shot that buck for at least 20 25 seconds and on, and on these deer I was I was holding it for a while but again I'd rather draw back too soon or draw back early than to draw back late and never get a shot so um, feels good, man. Got one on the ground. I got a friend in town uh, that works at an Orschlands. It's kind of like a tractor supply, if you're not familiar with that. And uh, he said he wants a deer, so this is probably going to him. So Merry Christmas to you, Frank and family. Okay, so I'm down the Landowners got their 10 dogs out here already. I think they're probably already on the deer, but uh, Nah, there's only uh, what four still four dogs and me Let's see if we can find The shot Had to be in here somewhere I thought it was Right in here Was it not? Ah, here we go. Arrow is right here. I need some help with my self filming skills. We got a pass through. The dogs are barking, so the dogs have already found the deer. So, here we go. Gonna try to catch up to them. Diesel. been just a little bit lower but that was a pretty good shot right there <sighs> what you go uh, 80 yards maybe all right gonna find the best way to drag this deer out 